Hey guys, what's up Libra? Thanks for watching, appreciate it. This is going to be a reading for your immediate future, the situation, any obstacles in your way, and the outcome of that situation. So keep in mind that the energies can go both ways. This could be your energy, wow, or the energy of the person you're dealing with, somebody around you. So flip it how you need to. Also remember, it's a general reading. So just take what's yours. Leave the rest behind. If it does resonate, please make sure that you like and subscribe below. Also, if you guys like to contact me for a personal reading, that information is below as well. Alright, Libra. Oh, got the Ten of Swords, the King of Pentacles. Damn. Alright, a couple ways this is going. Either there was like a breakup and just like somebody, there could have, like somebody just go, is ghosted. Like it's, it's kind of like just going quiet, going silent. But also, another way this could go, somebody could have like lost their job or really having some type of financial struggles. This King of Pentacles, you could be dealing with the uh, Earth sign, but that's a pretty stable energy. That's one that's like protective, provider, you know. So the fact that we're ending with the Five of Pentacles, you could be dealing with a Taurus, but, um, you know, somebody could just be kind of like ghosting something or really having some type of financial somebody go lost their job so we'll see how it's going you got the wolf beware of letting your wilder instincts spin out of control and moon and taurus now is a perfect time for focusing on finances and practical matters that's all what this this king is i like it. like i said finances taking care of self family home providing and i see that somebody it does want to hold on to this all right, so show me this Ten of Swords for Libra. What ended here? Oh, shoot. Okay. Oh, somebody got pissed off. I mean, this definitely could be somebody who is just having a whole lot of financial issues right now because we have the Nine of Pentacles. So we had someone over here who, you know, has some type of, or you may have just ended something for your better good for your higher self. But this also could be like a bill somebody can't pay. There's some type of somebody got pissed off. Some things could have been said that like um, really hurt someone else's feelings. I don't know how this is going to resonate, but that leads to an ending. This is somebody who's really freaking pissed. And it could have to do around finances. Maybe you're ending something for your higher good. Or this could be around somebody's job, career. So take it how it resonates. Show me this King of Pentacles. Definitely could be dealing with Taurus. Show me this King of Pentacles, please. Four of Cups. Wow. That's Cancer energy, but it's almost like this energy. This is somebody who can have, like, self-doubt now. But this is a card of, you know, possibly missing an opportunity, but it's also coming across as, you know, maybe somebody's not... Sometimes with the um, the Four of Cups, you know, they don't... Somebody doesn't make an effort there because of, for whatever reason, it, it can be self-doubt or, you know, feeling like... I mean, in this case, honestly, this person's intimidated by you. Because it's coming across as your finances, this is you with the Queen of Swords, are pretty on point. They're intimidated and it definitely could be you that's pissed off at them. So while you're pissed off or however this is resonating, the other person's being stubborn and not budging. And it's it's like there's anger and things like that. I don't know what caused this argument. It'll be different for each. But now intimidation and... You know, possibly it's not coming across 
the cards aren't yet, but you know, pride and heart stubbornness are, are kicking into gear as well. Show me this outcome for Libra, please. So with the Five of Pentacles in the world, that's Taurus Capricorn energy. <sighs> that's a close. That's a chapter closing. There's either severe financial issues, or um, or somebody's just like ghost and like cold shouldering. It could cause someone, depending on how this too many, how this is resonating. Um. Like, it could have been the breadwinner and not somebody who can't pay a bill. Show me this five of pentacles for Libra, please. It doesn't look like you're entertaining this much either. Wow, they love you. They could be at age different. Show me that seven of wands. Give me one more. Because it looks like, yeah, they're going to still try to approach you. Aquarius energy. Um, They're very attached to you. For whatever reason, financial feelings, because they are coming to you as, as a result in a very loving way. Like they're reaching out, they're communicating, um, still very hopeful. Yeah, the justice card, that's your energy. They're hoping to make things right. Wow, this could lead to some type of contract, even marriage. This goes to something pretty stable considering where it's at now. Finances, things like that, security. But I keep seeing this devil, right? So Capricorn energy, show me that devil. Because it really feels like there's a the Emperor Aries energy. They're, they're very strongly held to you. And I don't know if that's financially. I don't know if that's because somebody has like that. It's almost like a fear of... I don't want to say being alone, but it's it's kind of that being without, feeling like neglected, not you know, but it's in a devilish kind of way. So with this King of Pentacles, sometimes this can be greed, this can be jealousy, this can be monetary wise, but there is communication that either brings some type of contract if this is business wise, um. Or, you know, this could even be something that's like marriage, very long term. All right, Libra, I hope this helps. If it resonated, please make sure that you like and subscribe below. If you guys like to contact me for a personal reading, that information is below as well. You guys take care, and I will see you next time. Bye.